The Qur'an, A Complete Revelation Translated and read by Sam Gerrans Chapter 23 In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful Successful are the believers, those who are humble in their duty, and those who turn away from vain speech, and those who act in accordance with the purity, and those who are custodians of their modesty save with their wives or what their right hands possess, then are they not censured. But whoso seeks beyond that, these are the transgressors. And those who are compliant with their trusts and their pledge, and those who keep to their duties, these are the heirs, those who inherit paradise, wherein they abide eternally. And we created man from a strain of clay, then placed we him as a drop of fluid in a secure lodging, then created we the drop of fluid a clinging thing, and created the clinging thing a fleshy lump, and created the fleshy lump bones, and clothed the bones with flesh. Then brought we it into being as another creation, and blessed be God, the best of creators. Then, after that, will you die. Then, on the day of resurrection, will you be raised. And we have created above you seven paths, and we are not heedless of the creation. And we sent down from the sky water in measure, and gave it lodging in the earth, and we are able to take it away. And we brought into being for you therewith gardens of date palms and grapes. For you therein is much fruit, and thereof you eat. And a tree comes forth from Mount Sinai that yields oil and a seasoning for the eaters. And in the cattle is a lesson for you. We give you to drink of what is in their bellies, and for you therein are many benefits, and of them you eat, and upon them and upon ships are you carried. And we sent Noch to his people, and he said, O oh, my people, serve God, you have no God but he. Will you then not be in prudent fear? Then said the eminent ones who were indifferent to warning among his people, This is only a mortal like you, desiring to take precedence over you, and had God willed, he would have sent down angels. We heard not this among our fathers of old. He is only a man possessed, so wait for him for a time. He said, My Lord, help thou me, because they have rejected me. And we instructed him, Make thou the ship under our eyes and our instruction. Then when our command comes and the oven boils up, then load thou therein of each kind too, and thy household, save him against whom the word has gone forth among them. And speak thou not to me on behalf of those who do wrong, they will be drowned. And when thou takest thy place, thou and whoso is with thee upon the ship, say thou, Praise belongs to God, who delivered us from the wrongdoing people. And say thou, My Lord, set thou me down at a blessed landing place, and thou art the best of those who set down. In that are proofs, and we are testing. Then brought we into being after them another generation, and we sent among them a messenger from among them, Serve God, you have no God but he. Will you then not be in prudent fear? And said the eminent ones of his people, those who were indifferent to warning, and repudiated the meeting of the hereafter, and whom we had given opulence in the life of this world, this is only a mortal like you. He eats of that whereof you eat, and drinks of that you drink. And if you obey a mortal like yourselves, you will then be the losers. 
does he promise you that when you are dead and have become dust and bones, you will be brought forth? Far-fetched. Far-fetched is what you are promised. There is only our life of this world. We die and we live and we will not be raised. He is only a man who invented a lie about God and we will not believe him. He said, My Lord, help thou me because they have rejected me. Said he, In a little while will they become remorseful. Then the blast took them aright, and we made them decaying leaves, away with the wrongdoing people. Then brought we into being after them other generations. No community brings forward its term, and it does not postpone. Then sent we our messengers in succession. Each time its messenger came to a community, it rejected him. Then caused we some of them to follow others, and made them legends. Then away with a people who do not believe. Then sent we Musa and his brother Harun with our proofs and a clear warrant to Firaun and his eminent ones, but they were proud, and they were a self-exalting people. They said, Shall we believe two mortals like ourselves, and whose people serve us? So they rejected them, and they were among those destroyed. And we gave Musa the law, that they might be rightly guided. And we made the son of Maryam and his mother a proof, and we gave them shelter on high ground, a place of rest and a running spring. O oh, you messengers, eat of the good things and work righteousness. I know what you do, and this, your community, is one community, and I am your Lord, and be in prudent fear of me. But they divided their command among them into written records, each party exulting at what it has. Then leave thou them in their confusion for a time. Think they that in the wealth and sons wherewith we but assist them, we hasten upon them good things? The truth is, they perceive not. Those who are apprehensive from the fear of their Lord, and those who believe in the proofs of their Lord, and those who ascribe not a partnership to their Lord, and those who give what they give with their hearts in dread that they are to return to their Lord. These compete for the good things, and they are the forerunners for them. And we task not any soul save to its capacity, and with us is a decree which speaks aright, and they will not be wrong. The truth is, their hearts are in confusion from this, and they have works besides that which they will do. When we have seized their opulent ones with punishment, then will they cry out, Cry not out this day, you will not be given help from us. My proofs were recited to you, and you turned back therefrom on your heels, being proud thereat, talking to no purpose into the night. Do they then not ponder the word? If there has come to them what had not come to their fathers of old, or if they have not known their messenger and so do not recognize him, or if they say, He is possessed, the truth is, he brought them the truth, but most of them dislike the truth. And had the truth followed their vain desires, the heavens and the earth and whoso is therein would have been corrupted. The truth is, we brought them their remembrance, and they are disinclined towards their remembrance. If thou ask of them a reward, then is the reward of thy Lord better, and he is the best of providers. 
and thou invitest them to a straight path, and those who believe not in the hereafter are astray from the path. And if we had mercy on them and removed what is with them of distress, they would insist upon wandering blindly in their inordinacy. And we seized them with punishment, but they yielded not to their Lord, nor became humble. When we had opened for them the gate of severe punishment, then were they in despair thereat. And he it is who brought into being for you hearing and sight and intellect. Little are you grateful. And he it is who seeded you in the earth, and to him will you be gathered. And he it is who gives life and gives death, and his is the alternation of night and day. Will you then not use reason? The truth is, they say the like of what the men of old said. They say, when we are dead and are dust and bones, will we be raised up? We have been promised this before, we and our forefathers. These are only the legends of former peoples. Say thou, to whom belong the earth and whoso is therein, if you should know? They will say, to God, say thou, will you then not take heed? Say thou, who is Lord of the seven heavens and Lord of the tremendous throne? They will say, God, say thou, will you then not be in prudent fear? Say thou, in whose hand is dominion of all things, and he grants protection, and against whom there is no protection, if you should know? They will say, In God's. Say thou, How then are you taken by sorcery? The truth is, we brought them the truth, and they are liars. God takes not any son, and there is not with him any God. Then would each God have taken what he created, and some of them would have overcome others. Glory be unto God above what they describe, the knower of the unseen and the seen, and exalted above that to which they ascribe a partnership. Say thou, My Lord, if thou show me what they are promised, my Lord, then place thou me not among the wrongdoing people, and we are able to show thee what we promised them. Repel thou the evil with what is better. We know best what they describe. And say thou, My Lord, I seek refuge in thee from the temptations of the shaitans, and I seek refuge in thee, my Lord, lest they be present with me. When death has come to one of them, he says, My Lord, send thou me back, that I might work righteousness in what I left behind. No, indeed. It was but a word that he said, and behind them is a barrier until the day they are raised. Then when the trumpet is blown, there will be no ties of kinship among them that day, nor will they ask of one another then whose balance is heavy? These are the successful. And whose balance is light? These are they who lose their souls, they abiding eternally in hell, the fire scorching their faces, and they scowling therein. Were not my proofs recited to you, and you rejected them? They will say, our Lord, our misery has overcome us, and we were a people astray. Our Lord, turn thou us out from it. If we go back, then are we wrongdoers. He will say, Be despised therein, and speak not to me. Some of my servants said, Our Lord, we believe. Forgive thou us, and have mercy on us. Then thou art the best of those who have mercy. Then you took them in derision until they made you forget my remembrance. 
and you laughed at them. I have rewarded them this day for their patience. They are the triumphant. He will say, How long tarried you in the earth, counting by years? They will say, We tarried a day or part of a day. Ask thou those who keep count. He will say, You tarried only a little, had you but known. Thought you that we but created you in vain, and that you would not be returned to us? Then exalted be God, the true King. There is no God save he, the Lord of the noble throne. And whoso calls to another God with God, he has no evidence thereof and his reckoning is but with his Lord. Those who spurn guidance while claiming virtue are not successful. And say thou, My Lord, forgive thou, and have thou mercy, and thou art the best of those who have mercy. Chapter 24 In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. A surah we sent down, and made obligatory, and wherein we sent down clear proofs that you might take heed. The woman guilty of unlawful sexual intercourse, and the man guilty of unlawful sexual intercourse, whip each one of them with a hundred lashes, and let not pity for them take you concerning the doctrine of God, if you believe in God and the last day and let witness their punishment a number of the believers. The man guilty of unlawful sexual intercourse shall not marry save a woman guilty of unlawful sexual intercourse or an idolatrous. And a woman guilty of unlawful sexual intercourse shall not marry save a man guilty of unlawful sexual intercourse or an idolater. And that is unlawful. To the believers and those who accuse chaste women then bring not four witnesses whip them with eighty lashes and accept not of them witness ever and these are the wantonly perfidious save those who repent and do right after that then is god forgiving merciful and those who accuse their wives and have not witnesses save themselves, let the witness of one of them be four witnesses by God that he speaks the truth, and the fifth that the curse of God be upon him if he be a liar. And it repels the punishment from her that she bear witness by God four times that he is a liar, and the fifth that the wrath of God be upon her if he speaks the truth. And were it not for the bounty of God and his mercy to you, and that God is relenting wise, ellipsis, not one of you would ever become pure. To continue. They who come with slander are a group among you. Think it not an evil for you, nay, it is good for you. For every man among them is what he earns of the falsehood. And who among them is responsible for a greater share thereof, for him is a tremendous punishment. Oh, that when the believing men and the believing women heard it, they had but thought good of themselves and said, This is clear slander. Oh, that they had but come against it with four witnesses. Then since they bring not witnesses, they are the liars in the sight of God. And were it not for the bounty of God and his mercy to you in this world and the hereafter, you would have been afflicted with a tremendous punishment for what you expounded upon when you received it with your tongues and said with your mouths that whereof you had no knowledge and thought it insignificant when it was in the sight of God tremendous. Oh, that when you heard it, you had but said, It is not for us to speak of this. Glory be unto thee, this is a tremendous slander. God exhorts you that you repeat not the like thereof 
ever if you be believers. And God makes plain to you the proofs, and God is knowing wise. Those who love that there be spread sexual immorality among those who heed warning, theirs will be a painful punishment in this world and the hereafter. And God knows, and you know not. And were it not for the bounty of God and his mercy to you, and that God is kind, merciful, ellipsis, not one of you would ever become pure. To continue. O oh, you who heed warning, follow not the footsteps of the shaitan, and whoso follows the footsteps of the shaitan, he enjoins sexual immorality and perversity. And were it not for the bounty of God and his mercy to you, not one of you would ever become pure. But God increases in purity whom he wills, and God is hearing, knowing. And let not swear those possessed of bounty and abundance among you against giving to relatives and the poor and the emigres for the cause of God. And let them pardon and overlook. Love you not that God should forgive you? And God is forgiving, merciful. Those who accuse chaste, heedless, believing women Cursed are they in this world and the hereafter, and they have a tremendous punishment the day their tongues and their hands and their feet bear witness against them as to what they did. That day God will pay them in full for their true doctrine, and they will know that God, he is the clear truth. Bad women are for bad men, and bad men for bad women. And good women are for good men, and good men for good women. They are acquitted of what they said. For them are pardon and a noble provision. O oh, you who heed warning, enter not dwellings other than your dwellings, until you have asked leave and saluted the people thereof. That is best for you that you might take heed. And if you find not therein any one, enter not until leave be given you. And if it be said to you, go back, then go back. It is purer for you, and God knows what you do. You do no wrong to enter uninhabited dwellings in which there is provision for you, and God knows what you proclaim and what you conceal. Say thou to the believing men that they restrain some of their vision and guard their modesty. That is purer for them. God is aware of what they do. And say thou to the believing women that they restrain some of their vision and guard their modesty, and that they show not their adornment save that apparent of it, and that they draw their coverings over their bosoms, and reveal not their adornment save to their husbands, or their fathers, or the fathers of their husbands, or their sons, or the sons of their husbands, or their brothers, or the sons of their brothers, or the sons of their sisters, or their women, or what their right hands possess, or the attendants who have not the urge of men, or the children not yet aware of a woman's private parts. And let them not strike their feet so as to reveal what they hide of their adornment, and turn to God altogether, O believers, that you might be successful and give in marriage the eligible and righteous among your manservants and maidservants. If they be poor, God will enrich them out of his bounty, and God encompasses, knows. 
and let abstain those who find not marriage until God enriches them out of his bounty, and those who seek the law among those your right hands possess, contract with them if you know good in them, and give to them out of the wealth God has given you, and compel not your slave girls to whoredom if they desire chastity, ellipsis, then you should marry them. To continue, seeking the enjoyment of the life of this world, and whoso compels them, then after their compulsion is God forgiving, merciful. And we have sent down to you manifest proofs, and the example of those who came and went before you, and an exhortation to those of prudent fear. God is the light of the heavens and the earth. The example of his light is as a niche wherein is a lamp, the lamp in a glass, the glass as if a shining star lit from a blessed tree, an olive, neither of east nor west, its oil almost illuminating though fire has not touched it, light upon light. God guides to his light whom he wills, and God presents examples to mankind, and God knows all things. In houses wherein God gives leave that his name be exalted and remembered, to him belongs the glory therein in the mornings and the evenings. Men whom neither trade nor commerce divert from remembrance of God and upholding the duty and giving the purity, fear a day wherein hearts and eyes will turn about, that God might reward them for the best of what they did and increase them out of his bounty. And God gives provision to whom he wills without reckoning. And those who are indifferent to warning their deeds are like a mirage in a desert. The thirsty one thinks it water. When he has come to it, he finds it nothing, but finds God with it. He pays his account in full, and God is swift in reckoning. Or like darkness in a fathomless sea, there covers him a wave, above that a wave, above that a cloud, darkness is one above another. When he holds out his hand, he scarce sees it, and he for whom God has not made light, there is not for him any light. Hast thou not considered that God to him gives glory, whoso is in the heavens and the earth and the birds in formation? Each he knows its duty and its glorification, and God knows what they do. And to God belongs the dominion of the heavens and the earth, and to God is the journey's end. Hast thou not considered how God drives the cloud, then brings it together, then makes it a heap? And thou seest the rain come forth from the midst of it, and he sends down from the sky, from mountains therein of hail, and strikes therewith whom he wills, and diverts it from whom he wills. The brightness of his lightning almost takes away the sight. God turns about the night and the day. In that is a lesson for those with eyes to see. And God created every creature from water. And among them is what goes upon its belly. And among them is what goes upon two legs. And among them is what goes upon four. God creates what he wills. God is powerful over all things. We have sent down manifest proofs, and God guides whom he wills to a straight path. And they say, we believe in God and the messenger, and we obey. 
Then after that some of them turn away, and these are not believers. And when they are invited to God and his messenger that he judge between them, then are some among them disinclined. But if the truth be theirs, they come to him in prompt obedience. Is there in their hearts disease? If they doubt or fear that God and his messenger would deal unjustly with them, the truth is, these are the wrongdoers. The word of the believers when they are invited to God and his messenger to judge between them is but that they say, we hear and we obey, and these are the successful. And whoso obeys God and his messenger, and fears God and is in prudent fear of him, these are the triumphant. And they swear by God their strongest oaths, that if thou order them they will go forth, say thou, swear not, obedience is known. God is aware of what you do. Say thou, obey God and obey the messenger. And if you turn away, then upon him is what he has been given to bear, and upon you is what you have been given to bear. And if you obey it, you will be rightly guided, and upon the messenger is only the clear communication. And God has promised those who heed warning and do deeds of righteousness, he will make them successors in the earth, even as he made those successors who were before them, and he will establish for them their doctrine which he approved for them, and will give them in exchange safety after their fear. They serve me, they ascribe not a partnership with me to anything. And whoso denies after that, these are the wantonly perfidious. And uphold the duty, and give the purity, and obey the messenger, that you might obtain mercy. Think not that those who are indifferent to warning can escape in the earth and their habitation is the fire, and evil is the journey's end. O you who heed warning, let ask leave of you those whom your right hands possess, and those who have not reached puberty among you at three times, before the duty of the dawn, and when you lay aside your garments in the midday heat, and after the duty of the night. Three times of privacy for you. You and they do no wrong outside of them. Some of you move about among others of you. Thus God makes plain to you the proofs, and God is knowing, wise. And when the children among you reach puberty, then let them ask leave, even as those before them asked. Thus God makes plain to you his proofs, and God is knowing, wise. And those past childbearing among the women who have no expectation of marriage, they do no wrong that they lay aside their garments without displaying adornment, but that they refrain is best for them, and God is hearing, knowing. No blame is there upon the blind, nor any blame upon the lame, nor any blame upon the sick, nor upon yourselves, that you eat among your dwellings, or the dwellings of your fathers, or the dwellings of your mothers, or the dwellings of your brothers, or the dwellings of your sisters, or the dwellings of your paternal uncles, or the dwellings of your paternal aunts, or the dwellings of your maternal uncles, or the dwellings of your maternal aunts, or that whereof you hold the keys, or of your friend. You do no wrong to eat together or separately. And when you enter dwellings, salute one another with a greeting from God, blessed and good. Thus God makes plain to you the proofs that you might use reason. The believers are but those who believe in God and his messenger, and when they are with him on a common matter, go not away until they ask leave of him. 
those who ask leave of thee, these are they who believe in God and his messenger. Then when they ask leave of thee for some involvement of theirs, give thou leave to whom thou wilt among them, and ask thou forgiveness of God for them. God is forgiving, merciful. Make not the call of the messenger among you like a call one of another. God knows those who slip away surreptitiously among you. And let those who oppose his command beware, lest a means of denial or a painful punishment befall them. In truth, to God belongs what is in the heavens and the earth. He knows upon what you stand. And the day they are returned to him, then will he inform them of what they did. And God knows all things. Chapter 25 In the name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful. Blessed be he who sent down the division upon his servant, that he might be a warner to all mankind. He to whom belongs the dominion of the heavens and the earth, and has not taken a son, nor had a partner in dominion, but created everything, he ordained it entirely. And they have taken besides him gods, who create not anything, but are created, and possess neither harm nor benefit for themselves, and possess not death nor life, nor resurrection. And those who are indifferent to warnings say, This is only a lie. He invented it, and other people assisted him in it. And they have brought injustice and falsehood. And they say, The legends of former peoples he had written, and they are dictated to him morning and evening. Say thou, he sent it down who knows the secret in the heavens and the earth. He is forgiving, merciful. And they say, What messenger is this that eats food and walks in the markets? Oh, that an angel were but sent down to him to be a warner with him, or a treasure were but sent to him, or there were for him but a garden from which he ate. And the wrongdoers say, you follow only a man taken by sorcery. See thou how they present examples to thee, and go astray, and cannot find a way. Blessed be he, who, if he wills, will make for thee better than that, gardens beneath which rivers flow, and will make for thee palaces. The truth is, they have rejected the hour, and for him who rejects the hour have we prepared an inferno. When it sees them from a place far away, they hear the fury and the moaning thereof. And when they are cast into a constricted place thereof, bound together, they call thereupon for destruction. Call not this day for one destruction, but call for many destructions. Say thou, is that better, or the garden of eternity which is promised to those of prudent fear? It will be for them a reward and a journey's end. They have therein all that they desire, they abiding eternally. It is upon thy Lord a promise to be answered for. And the day he gathers them and what they serve besides God and says, Was it you who led astray these my servants, or did they stray from the way? They will say, Glory be unto thee. It behooved us not to take any allies besides thee. But thou didst give them and their fathers enjoyment until they forgot the remembrance and became a people ruined. Then will they reject you for what you say, and you will be able neither to avert nor help. And whoso does wrong among you, we will make him taste a great punishment. And we sent before thee only emissaries that ate food and walked in the markets. 
and we made some of you a means of denial for others. Will you be patient? And thy Lord is seeing.